वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विथ अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोज फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी ऑल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस Let us continue to watch our today's video. Hey, hi friends! Uh, welcome to our new video on uh, cast turbine torque converters. I was receiving few requests uh, on a video for torque converter, and uh, this seems to be a interesting uh, uh, topic for our viewers. So here is one small video on torque converters. Uh, on the basic uh, fundamentals and for detail definitely you can reach out through comment section and try to answer uh, to those questions so torque converter is a you know uh, a device which is used in a gas turbine uh, for these functions like uh, smooth acceleration and the important thing is stepless acceleration like if you have any you know gearbox or something uh, that kind of mechanical device which will not be that smooth and it will have steps which may be something uh, uh, which is not essential for having a you know combustion smooth combustion process uh, takeover or uh, in acceleration phase while you know combustion starts and uh engine starts accelerating so that is where you know smoothless and stepless uh hydraulic drive makes it a perfect fit that is why it is used in the gas turbine and then you have uh, torque multiplication through oil uh, flow quantities changing which is essentially required to uh, different uh, you know quantum of torques required in different uh, uh, stage of uh, or the status of gas turbine operation and then there is a last phase where is decoupling when the turbine reaches the self sustaining speed and then it accelerates and parts over from the clutch and then you have your uh, gear uh, torque converter which is uh, uh, not required uh, further in the operation and come down to uh, uh, lowest speeds so uh, here is some uh, uh, image uh, taken from uh, g gas uh, turbine manual for reference and then you have your torque converter uh, which is maybe driven by a diesel engine or maybe a motor as well and then it is connected to your auxiliary uh, gearbox and then there will be a jaw clutch uh, that kind of device and then you have your turbine shaft which is connected to this agb so this is how and uh, this is a image which is taken from my uh, white uh, white hydraulic torque converter website uh, that kind of device you people might have seen in your uh, field setups or if somebody has not seen in then uh, this is a kind of device which you may expect for a uh, torque converter uh, kind of setup so uh, as we see uh, as we have seen uh, this image in the last slide and uh, this is how a torque converter will look like and if we see and try to understand how it functions we have a image here which shows that uh, how the internal you uh, know uh, equipments are there or the components are there so if you see this left side shaft which is connected to the starting device which may be a diesel engine or maybe electric uh, motor and then we have uh, uh, the input side of uh, we can say the guide uh, vanes which is adjustable adjustable means uh, you don't have to adjust it while you are running the machine in your you no know, plant or uh, uh, power plant or factory but this adjustment happens while it comes from the shop according to the load of uh, your uh, gas turbine or the uh, setup uh, in the test bed that guide vanes are adjusted one time and then it is uh, you know set for uh, uh, 
you know uh, there is no need to set it up in the plant so you have a fixed uh, set of uh, guidelines and then you have a uh, wheel here which you can call it as an impeller so once this uh, input shaft start rotating with the in, uh, speed of uh, uh, diesel engine then that uh, impeller throws that oil on this uh, pump wheel which is on this side if you see this this part is the pump wheel on the red uh, side and then that pump will push that oil into you know turbine uh, wheel which is on the blue side and that gives that uh, power to this output shaft so this is how it is and based on the input uh, shaft speed which is in the red color uh, the output shaft torque and speed increases and that is how uh, you know uh, uh, it feeds to the uh, increasing or decreasing demand of turbine uh, load or turbine torque we can say uh, which is required for starting up and uh, basically uh, this is uh, required for a smooth startup so that uh, the turbine uh, air flow fuel flow and uh, accordingly the speed which is increasing that all are in sync and you have a, a stepless uh, uh, increase in speed which you know supports your uh, combustion process also to initiate at a small uh, level and then uh, uh, the fuel increase and the airflow increases based on the speed and, and so on so that uh, it uh, uh, gives that you know perfect uh, smooth flow to start up and then uh, a sustainable uh, self-sustaining speed so this is how uh, a torque converter function is designed to provide that you know input uh, to the turbine and uh, how it happens uh, uh, inside that box so this is how uh, a very quick one on uh, gas turbine torque converter if you have any question uh, you want to ask in detail you can uh, reach out to us through comment section we will be happy to answer uh, your doubts thank you thank you very much for watching our video